Hello, I'm David Meiri, Development Team Leader for Native Replication in Extreme.io. We are going to talk about Extreme.io's latest unique data service, Metadata Aware Native Replication. Extreme.io Replication provides asynchronous, snapshot-based replication using Extreme.io virtual copies that supports recovery point objectives as low as 30 seconds. The efficiencies that the solution provides are incredible. It is snapshot based, so we are using Extreme.io virtual copies, also known as XVC. We transmit the changed blocks only. We review and transmit only data blocks written since the last replication cycle. The data we send is the duplicated. Replication is globally dedupe aware, so that if a block of data already exists anywhere at the target, it does not need to be replicated over the link. We'll just send the hash instead of the entire block. The unique blocks that do need to be replicated are transmitted compressed. Replication is done over up to four 10 gigabit links per XBrick allowing customers to protect their business's most important data and workloads. Best of all, just like with all other Extreme.io data services, there are no additional licenses needed to use this data service. It is included at no additional cost for all X2 customers. Combine all these points and you have the most efficient replication solution in the industry allowing one optimization of up to 99%. Let's explore further. Let's take a look at what metadata aware replication means. As you know, Extreme.io is content aware storage. For each incoming data block, we generate a hash, a kind of a fingerprint representing that block of data. For example, Let's imagine a host that is writing 11 blocks of data. As the data enters the array, Extreme.io creates a hash for each block of data, storing the actual block of data in the flash drive. Now, let's say the host tries to write a data block that already exists in the array in a different address. When the block enters the array, a hash is generated again but the array recognizes that the hash for the block already exists, and it simply increases that hash reference count. It then points the new address to the existing hash and skips writing the block to disk. In this example, we can see 11 data blocks written from the host reduced to five unique blocks written inside the array. Native replication uses the same foundation. If a block of data needs to be replicated and its hash already exists in the target array, instead of transmitting the full block, only the hash is transmitted. The target array increases the hash's reference count and updates the target volume to point to the already existing page. The bottom line is that we sent just a few hash bytes instead of a full block of data. Let's walk through how Extreme.io is able to use this content awareness for native replication. We do a setup here replicating volumes from a source cluster to a target cluster. In the initial sync, we copy the entire volumes from the source to target. In this example, we have five blocks to transmit, A, B, C, A, and E. So over the wire, we compress and transmit A, B, C, we don't need to send A a second time, so E. And we recreate the exact same image on the target. Now these four blocks are of course transmitted compressed. So with 50% average compression, we can expect to send the equivalent of two blocks over the wire instead of five. So that's our data reduction in this initial cycle, five to two. At the next cycle, using XVC and based on the user-defined RPO, we take a snapshot. This snapshot captures a diff or a delta set between the current volumes 
and the previous state. This div contains only the new data blocks. There is no need to resend over all the contents of the volume. If an address was written a few times, only the last block is sent. For example, we may find the following new writes. F, B, A, X, X, and let's say G. Let's see what we need to transmit over the wire for this cycle. Recall that we dedupe data against the entire target cluster, not only our volume. For example, the target cluster may already have other data in other volumes. Maybe it already has some blocks X, Y, and Z. So now we look at the diff between the previous cycle and this cycle. Let's see what we need to transmit. Nothing changed here. F is new. B is already on the target cluster. A is already on the target cluster. X, X already on the target cluster. Nothing changed here. G is new. So two blocks need to be transmitted in order to create the updated image on the target. These two blocks are of course compressed. So when we transmit them, will transmit the equivalent of one block. So let's see what we got here. We started with a diff that got only the differences from the last cycle. Then we did a dedo process that eliminated the blocks that are already on target. Finally, we compress the data. Ending up with the equivalent of a single block of data for what looked like six blocks of changes in this cycle. So six to one data reduction on the link. Talking about efficiencies. In summary, Extreme.io's native application is truly unique across the industry. It is easy, just like with every feature of Extreme.io, we designed replication to be easy to use, integrated with XVC, our virtual copy mechanism for managing points in time, and including a wizard-based GUI for intuitive setup and full operational disaster recovery. Best protection, Extreme.io native replication offers an extended protection window with an RPO that can be set as low as 30 seconds, providing immediate recovery to hundreds of recovery points. The solution also allows for fan-in configurations, where you can replicate multiple Extreme.io source arrays to a single destination array. High performance. Built around Extreme.io's architecture, our solution leverages Extreme.io's content-aware storage engine to replicate in the most efficient way possible. Replication efficiencies include dedupe, compression, and replicating only changed data blocks, allowing up to 99% less WAN bandwidth usage. Lastly, Extreme.io native replication is resilient. It can work over short or long distance, across the corridor or across thousands of miles. It can use high throughput 10 gig links, optical copper. If the links are lost, it would pause. When the links are resumed, it would automatically resume operation. It does not negatively impact performance on production volumes. Users can test it non-disruptively at any time knowing that each block of data was validated using its hash signature. It is truly the most efficient storage replication solution in the industry. 
I hope you enjoyed this overview. Thanks for watching.